Horowitz and Richard Maltby Jr. It serves as a tribute to the black musicians of the 1920s and 30s who were part of the Harlem Renaissance, an era of growing creativity, cultural awareness, and ethnic pride, and takes its title from the 1990 Waller song, 1929, excuse me, Waller song, Ain't Miss Babe. It was a time when Manhattan nightclubs like the Cotton Club and the Savoy Ballroom were the playgrounds of high society, and Lenox Avenue dives were filled with piano players banging out the new best sound known as swing. Ain't Miss Behaven opened in the Manhattan Theater Club's East 73rd Street Cabaret on February 8, 1978, with featured singer Irene Cara. Its reception was such that it was decided to develop it into a full-scale production. After 14 previews, the Broadway production, directed by Maltby, opened on May 9, 1978 at the Long Acre Theater, later moving to the Belasco before finally completing its 1,604 performance run on February 21, 1982. The original cast featured Nell Carter, Andre DeShields, Armelia McQueen, Ken Page, Charlene Woodard, and Luther Henderson. Now, I first want to introduce Mr. Julian, <laughs> who has now celebrated a 40-year theatrical career. Now, I wasn't born then. <laughs> I think what, no, I'm not going to say. Uh, but, <laughs> I don't want to go there, because he can punish me later. But I have known Julian for 10 years, uh, performing in, in Godspell with him. And I think some of you might have been, been there. I think I remember that. Uh, and later, um, toured Florida in a production of Showboat. So Julia's going to start us off with a tribute to Ain't Misbehaven, which just strikes me as funny, because I never heard of any problems with uh, misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. 
I did want to uh, take a moment to introduce Julian's other friends. <laughs> I am Mike Buck, we established that. Of course, you know Jared Porter. I think you know him, but think he, he might work with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Amanda Buck. So why might you do this? Uh, Jack on High is a musical based on the novel The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. The original stage conception was by Stephen Pudin with uh, and Frank Wildhorn, the music by Wildhorn, and the lyrics and book by Leslie Brookings. Uh, the musical ran on Broadway for 1,543 performances from 1997 until 2001. And despite the long run, the musical lost money um, in the end at more than $1.5 million. Because his wife had to leave. Yeah. Was that <laughs> a lot of money? Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, um, the next uh, three selections are from Jekyll and Hyde, and, uh, and the first uh, is in the voice of Amanda Buck singing Once Upon a Dream, and then we'll have a duet with Jared and Amanda, and, uh, and then Jared will, will, will finish us off. So.
Can't conceal from me the love.